Hi, this is Greg from Rancho Bible and this is my full review after over 100 kilometers of the Essex Nova Blast 3 available at Team Sport Malta in this lovely design here that Essex produced for us. Okay, first of all, the weight of this shoe is 225 grams without insole okay i love to um, weigh the shoes without insoles because all the insoles vary from each other 225 with a drop of 25 grams from the nova blast 2 which is already a great step in the right direction it has 31 millimeters at the back and 23 at the forefoot giving it an 8 millimeter drop with an increase of one millimeter all the way throughout the midsole from its previous models okay so let me start by talking about about the upper okay the upper is made of an engineered mesh jacquard mesh it's called which is very comfortable it sits wraps around the foot okay the tongue is new it is stretchy it is semi gusseted okay and there is a lot, a huge amount of cushioning back there at the heel, which in my opinion there is a bit too much. Maybe a six can do it less, but if you want a plush, safe ride, then that heel there, that heel counter, offers a lot of stability. Okay? Let me talk about the outsole before talking about the star of the show, the midsole. Okay? The outsole is a non full contact. There are exposed, exposed parts, as you can see, AHAR, which is Essex High Abrasive Resilient Rubber, okay, that rubber there, with this, mid, this middle part here that Essex are calling it a trampoline effect, and yes, straight outside the box, you feel that it's like a trampoline under your foot that wants to put you forward okay there is the bevel at the back as well and now we talk about the star of the show the midsole made of a full ff blast plus material i will talk you through the process of the midsoles this is the standard flight foam of essex okay then they created the flight foam blast on the nova blast one and nova blast two which was already springy effect that's why ff blast but now we have the all new revamped ff blast plus which yes is softer as you can see okay it's more resilient so when you press on it it gives you more pop forward and it's squishier okay and overall it's lighter so that's why we say i said before that it's like defies the laws of physics because it's a squishier lighter with more stack and gives you more pop so it gives you the best of both worlds okay and that is the most special part of this shoe the ff blast plus which if you don't try it, you cannot really feel what I'm talking about, okay? In my opinion, this is quite similar, but more stable, in my opinion, for my needs, than the Zoom X. So that is the level of this foam here, okay? What did Essex do with the Nova Blast 3? I didn't used to enjoy much riding the Nova Blast 1 and 2. Why? Because, first of all, aesthetically it wasn't that pleasing to me personally and it had stability issues. Okay? But now I can assure you personally, at least on me, that on the third version the stability issues were put down to a minimum. I do not feel any issues, especially in the Achilles, after I run in this shoe. And I run practically all types of runs in this shoe. How did they do that? They increased the sidewalls here. Can you see 
how out they are that increases stability the four foot platform is widened so you have more space where to land making it more stable there is a bevel at the heel which makes it more efficient and easier for the runner to go through his gait cycle while running okay so as you can see there these are all stability features that helped this model the nova blast make it in a more stable level <clears throat> okay guys this is what a daily trainer should be it can do it all and it set the standard high for other daily trainers okay it is my favorite i must admit of 2020 through 2022 just up there with the Hoka Mac 5 because they both are my favorite okay they give me comfort while running they get me excited to run in them even after 100 kilometers maybe some negatives about this shoe is that it increased 10 euro in the price point but obviously technology is going forward and the 10 euro increase might have been cause of all the pluses I told you about in this shoe. The traction, the grip is not the best in my opinion. I ran on it um, when I was abroad, there was a bit of a slip slippery road and it didn't have the best of tractions and durability since it doesn't have a full outsole. I do not think that it will be the most durable daily trainer in the world. And you can see that there is already some um, it's all parts that are showing work there. It has some creasing too in the midsole. So this midsole is showing its age after over 100 kilometers. But other than that, guys, it's my favorite daily trainer of 2022 for all the reasons I just mentioned in this full review just now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this FF Blast Plus is a wonderful ride, okay? Nothing much to add about this. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the meantime, keep running and stay safe.